Hi, Ozark Mountain Mama fans and friends and family. Um, today, I am going to show you um, how to set up a trot line. Um, we use um, this Magic Bait trot line, and it comes with, it says here, 25 bait trout line clips, 25 size number one brass swivels, that's these, um, swivels and kit, 150 feet of your main line, and then plastic bead spacers, which are on your main line, that's what the blue is, and then 25 hooks, catfish hooks is what we use them for. And um, this is, just so you guys know, made in the USA, right in Oklahoma, actually. So, um, I'm going to show you how to put it together. So, you take your leader line, put this through the hook. Now, this is just the way I um, tie my knots. I was taught this by a gentleman, and now this is the only knot I use. You just twist it four to six times how many ever and then put it through the through itself at the bottom hold on to it just a little so this comes down and then pull tight make sure it's tight now I've been told by um, older generations, younger generations, that you should wet your line. Spit on it, put it in your mouth, put it in water. Um, I don't do that. I've been trot lining for at least five to ten years now, and I've never had a problem. But they say that it makes it tight so when it's in the water, it doesn't come loose. So you do the exact same thing for your hook. Put your hook through, or your line through your eye on your hook. Twist, 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 and then put it through the hole. Grab it. Pull tight, like that. And now we have one done. And we'll continue on. I'll show you guys a few. And I'm doing this because my lines are old and they need um, repaired and need some new ones. So that's why I'm doing some more. Tina, she just last year got her um, trout bucket trout line bucket all hooked up so her stuff was all new and mine was all old so and in a moment I'll show you guys what I use which was handed down to me when I started fishing for my trout line bucket trout line bucket trout line bucket pull tight number two so this is my trout line bucket and it is actually just a trash can a metal trash can and the, whoever made this put these hooks in it and put a um, bungee cord bungee cord around so that you can put your hooks on them and it fits just perfectly in there like I said, it's very old and it has a lid and a bungee cord that goes around the lid. Okay, we're gonna make two more of these real quick. I've already made um, 21 of these. So, oh, sometimes you just gotta start over. So I'm a little tired. My fingers are tired anyway. I try not to leave very much 
line out here. Um, that's just a preference for me, but I don't think it really matters. I've never noticed that the fish care if you have a little extra tail on it or not. Now, probably there are people out there that say, no, you shouldn't do that, or maybe I'm not tying the knot right. I would love to have comments on what we could do to get, um, you know, to tie the knots better or what you think we should try for fishing. We also, this, um, like I said, this magic bait, this is the bait that we use um, when we go catfishing for our trout lines and it has been very successful. So we will continue to use it. Okay guys, last hook. Success! Yay! And then here are all the ones we've already done. And now we will put them in the trout line bucket and you just set them right in. So, and you try not to put them. Now this is the cleanest this bucket's ever been and it smelled awful. It was so bad, but um, I had to bring it in the house, so I had to clean it. That's what I was told. So, there we go. Hi, guys. So, I realized um, that I didn't show you how to put the line on uh, for the trout line for the hooks. So, this is what the hooks get put on. So, here's an old line that I'm going to take off of our reel and put our new line on. So I'm just going to cut it. I'll try not to cut myself or cut my seat. There we go. Okay, so there's one, and then we're going to unwrap it from this. Okay, so we finally made it to the end. We're just going to unclip it from the line. We're going to do the same thing for this end. We're going to cut it off. Okay, so now both our hooks are undone. This line, we're actually going to take a little piece of this line off to use as our, um, where we put our buoy in the center. Just so, because sometimes when you're on, out on the lake and you're putting your lines out, you forget to count to the center. So we always keep a little tie. And then all you do, you tie each end to the end of your clamp. And I tie these just like everything else. Sorry for all the wind noise, you guys. It's really windy down at the dock today. But any day at the dock is a good day. Unless your dock gets loose, that's a bad day. So take these off for now. I have my little head thing on because I don't like wind in my ears. And then here's the other end. So I'm just going to go ahead and tie it on now. Just like that. Okay. And then there you go. We've got our new line made up. We're going to put it on here. Clip it, clamp it on, and then we're going to just start putting it around this one. And when we get to about 12 or 13 of the blue tabs, then we'll put our little um, tie on to mark where we put our buoy. And 
12. So here, we're just going to tie this right on here. And it doesn't have to be anything fancy. I should have made it a little... Sorry about that, my husband is working on the dock. We're putting up a gate today. Hopefully you guys can hear me all right. Like I said, it's super windy out here. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, here we go, we got it. Okay, there we go. And then you just finish, you just finish putting it around your reel and then that's it. So this video is to show you how to set up your trot line, um, do your hooks. Um, which I already showed you. There's my bucket and the hooks. So, and then my Tina's bucket, here's Tina's bucket. And we need to work on her bucket. So that's it guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, YouTube channel. And uh, don't forget our other social media sites. And if you guys have any tips or tricks on how to um, make your trot line buckets or your trot lines, uh, please don't forget to leave us a comment below. Um, this is Ozark Mountain Mama Amber, out.